Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel here and uh, we have a great product review today to uh, match up with our signature lacrosse goal here that uh, we did a review on and uh, the company Smart Sports sent us one of their products which is the uh, Smart Backstop. If you guys have not seen that, it's uh, basically just a net that goes around the goal here. We're going to get that set up today, do a review and uh, see what we think. Let's, uh, let's open up this box. Alright guys, so the box is open here. Let's uh, let's kind of take a look at what's inside. We have the backstop net, which uh, I don't know if it's a, I believe it's a one piece net. So let's... Alright guys, so yeah, that's a one piece net right there. It's going to be uh, basically the shape of the goal. Alright, we got directions here. Uh, looks like a water jug. I'm assuming to weight it down. Find that out from the wind. Looks like just four poles. Two, uh, actually, really heavy monster-sized brackets here. And, uh, let me open this up, and we'll kind of see where we sit from there. Hey guys, so uh, this is just a close-up look here of the uh, the brackets. You get two of these in the package, and it appears that everything is going to be toolless, so you don't need any tools. Uh, maybe just a, a flathead screwdriver, and that's it. So these come undone. They go around your. Uh, lacrosse goal posts, one on each corner there. Your two poles, it comes with four, so two in each bracket. You're gonna come out, and then you will, if you want to, use a flathead screwdriver to tie them in there. So uh, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm assuming this bracket is gonna be uh, uh, what locks it into place here. And we haven't really read the instructions yet here, just kind of going off of uh, what it looks like it appears to do. So. And then this is going to Velcro strap to wrap around the product here, all right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and just take a quick look at the instructions. And we're going to uh, give you a closer look on how to set this thing up. All right, guys, here we go. So step one here, I uh, got the bracket. You guys going to have to unscrew these completely all the way out, uh, depending on your type of goal. Um, obviously, we got the signature lacrosse goal here. And this has the quick connect net, if you remember from the uh, last product review we did. Uh, to fit this bracket on, you're going to most likely have to do the two uh, closest connectors to loosen up the net and uh, to be able to fit this bracket on. All right, so uh, loosen it up all the way. It'll snap on. Okay, do one side at a time. So tighten this one up pretty snug here, real quick, and it should fit pretty snugly around the bar. Once again, this is a full-size goal. All right, and then this bracket, so you just kind of have to work it around until you get that good fit. And then you want the to make sure probably that you got that V in these poles right here. All right, so just tighten it up pretty snug. And with this, you're probably not gonna be able to fit the uh, quick connect goal here as you can see my hands here but you could always take a zip tie and uh, the brackets fit right pretty closely to where the holes are in these quick connects but you can always just take one zip tie and connect the goal there if you do have any balls going through that portion of the net so, so just make this snug I'm moving it around right now as you can see it's not moving anywhere Okay. And then so you know we got the V here. It's that easy guys. This uh, this portion back here will show you close up and forth. And then you take your Velcro straps here and strap it down. So I'm going to strap this down real quick and we'll just roll over to uh, side number two. Alright guys, side number two. 
And just to show you the quick connect goal here, you'll have to undo. Get these on properly. I mean, you might be able to squeeze them in there, but. That one, and then the next closest one would be this one here. So this is all snug up pretty good. The Velcro straps on. Okay, and then this right here is called the pivoting bracket right here. This is where the two poles are gonna come out of. You guys can see it's right on the corner of the V here. This right here, as you can see when it's locked in, it doesn't move to unlock the net. Pull this up, put it down just like that, okay? And your net actually gonna fold on top of your lacrosse net here. So pull it up, push it down, it locks in when you're shooting. There you go, to store it, all right? So right now we're gonna go to number two. Uh, step number two is for us to, probably gonna have to pull out this goal a little bit and uh, wrap this net around here to uh, get the poles in. All right, so let's get that started. All right, guys, step two is done. You see we have the net on the back of your goal. Okay, it's super easy to do. Uh, step three, we're taking these poles. If you uh, come over here, we're going to insert these poles, two on each side, all right, into the net holders here. And it shows you right here, you're inserting this end. Inserting this end into each portion of the net that's already marked. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. Step three done, just like that, super easy. Uh, step four, I'm gonna double check, but step four should just be plugging these right into our brackets here. We're going to pull them down and uh, we're just going to double check that real quick. Here we go to the next step. We've got the poles inserted here and let's make sure they're not crisscrossed here. They should just easily plug right into one after the other. And as long as your net's not tangled up, it should just pop right in for you. half as you can see the net's gonna probably uh, pop right up make sure that's not tangled down here spread this all the way out Let's take the other side here make sure that you're not crisscrossed or tangled up recommend having this all the way stretched up to make sure you can get to this, this side easily. Okay. All 
All right, guys, that's it. And then now we're ready to uh, pop this bracket up. And depending on where your fence is at, Uh, one step I did forget real quick is this right here. If you can zoom in on this portion right here, is it comes with a bungee. Okay, tighten this bungee up. You slide this bungee through here. Okay, and then, and I'm guessing this is for the wind, but tighten those bungees up. And do that one on each side as you pop it up. Make sure, talked about, it's locked in right here. Okay, do the other side. Locked in, brackets down, put the bungee on. Okay, and then basically with that, we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and get the front view of it. show you guys a couple of things here. Now it does come with a water bag. Uh, if you are worried about the wind or have it set up as open, um, so I'm just gonna work. I'm personally not gonna use it, but I do like the fact that it does have this option. And so I'm just gonna open this up for you guys to uh, take a look and see how big this uh, water bag is. Pretty big. Spin that out. So as you can see, it'd be pretty big if I popped it all the way out. It does have a nice handle. It's probably about three gallons or so. Uh, we'll pop this back in here. Uh, as it's, we're not gonna, we're not gonna use it, but it comes uh, folded up like this. Pretty nice. Uh, so you do have that option, uh, which is nice. So, uh, another feature is they say that it extends your goal out four feet. So I'm going to hold to that here. I got a tape measure and uh, let's see here. So here is four feet right here to the top of that. And sure enough, yes, you get four feet. Yep, 48 inches. Okay, so on the corners, you actually get more on the corners where the poles are. You actually get out to four and a half feet on the corners. So that's pretty nice at the largest point on the sides, a little bit less, but on the sides you get a little bit less, about three and a half feet due to the fact that there's actually no weight. So the only thing that would be nice is if uh, they had some type of weight or a pole extender on the bottom. Other than that is like the only thing that I see so far with the improvement of the product would be a weight on the bottom. But uh, uh, you could obviously easily take a tent stake if you're out in the field, a practice field. You technically could take tent stake this if you wanted to to the ground but I don't think it's necessary. One third thing too I think I like is the fact that the net itself actually goes behind your goal. It has uh, just extra protection back here. So you do not have any uh, lacrosse balls going through your net and the goal itself. So that's a great uh, feature there. Overall, I would say uh, as a review overall, setup. 10 out of 10. Literally one person can set this up in 15 minutes um, if they just straight out of the box, never done it before. Um, now that these are in the 
holders, I technically could take this off, these brackets off, fold the net up, take it with me, and then probably have it set up in less than 10 minutes with these brackets and there are the poles already in there. So, um, great, great feature. Obviously our main feature is using it here in the uh, Zombieplex and uh, for practice shooting here. So, hey, we have it set up. Let's take some practice shots. How you have the net up and still miss? <laughs> <laughs> it went way over there. Setting cradle it for a shot. All right, guys, done shooting. Uh, you know, we shot quite a few balls into this thing. You guys probably saw. Uh, put some of those in the video here. Um, but yeah, so this overall review, ease of setup, so easy. Ten out of ten. Durability, guys. I definitely. Uh, the, the parts are very well made, so I can see this thing lasting a long time, even if I had to take it up and down, transfer it to the field. But if you're just gonna leave it in your backyard for something like this, uh, I can see this product lasting a very long time. Uh, as far as uh, storage goes, perfect. It's not bulky at all. All I would have to do is just scoot this out a foot, if that, pull these down. And, uh, but as it sits right now in the corner here, it doesn't take up any extra room at all so um, i love it already uh, you can just fire away uh, you know and really practice shooting out here without having to worry about uh, losing balls over the top or on the sides of this thing so uh, i love it definitely would recommend this product uh, the price point on it's uh, anywhere from uh, 250 dollars up to like 280 i believe is what it is um, but if you can pick those up, this up for you know 280, 275, 250, I would. It's it's worth it. So uh, definitely, especially if you're gonna shoot a lot in your backyard, and we have a facility like this in our backyard to uh, be able to use this product to its uh, full capabilities here. So, all right, guys. So thanks for tuning in for this uh, product review. Uh, we'll keep bringing these to uh, you guys. If you like the video, subscribe below, send me a message, have uh, any products that you guys want to see us review. We'll get that done for you. And remember guys, all the products uh, for Laxami Dyes, hit the website, laxamidyes.com.